Okay, welcome to how to construct the ATAR forecast for new products using Excel. This will be a step-by-step -step guide to building uh, this spreadsheet and doing the calculations. If you're not overly confident in building this particular spreadsheet, I already have it set up for free do download at this particular site and there's lots of other information there if you want, so just click the link below the video. Okay, typically when we do an ATAR forecast, we look at the initial years, maybe years one to three in this case, maybe a bit longer. Year zero is your expenditure prior to launch. So that's the cost of the new product development and any pre-launch promotion you may do. Okay, so let's work through the mechanics step by step. Step one, what is the size of our target market? So we need to know what that is. Okay, so I'm just going to assume it's a million people. Obviously, you'd have a supporting statistic for that. And I just copy that across as unlikely to shift a lot. Then I need to have my ATAR assumptions. So I'm going to assume that awareness starts low and starts to grow over time. I'm going to assume trial is pretty good initially and then probably drops off as the product is, is less new. So when it first comes out, it's new and exciting. Um, aware, availability, I'm having that increase as well. Less retailers initially, and we're going to gain uh, retailer support over time. And I think it's a pretty good product, so I'm going to put that level of repeat. Again, justify the numbers. Okay. Now I have enough information to work out how many customers we have. So how many customers do we get in that year? So it's the number of potential customers times how many people are aware, times how many of people are willing to trial, times what people proportion of people can find it in the store, and then mul multiplied by the repeat customers. That's all I'm interested in. What's my customer base going to be? And I can just drag that across again, copy that formula. Now, under here, I've got something different. What's my total repeat customers, my customer base? Now, in the first year, that's it, 2,400. But in the second year, I've got another 7,000 customers plus my 2,400 from year one. Okay, so now I have close to 10,000 customers. In year three, I've gained another 10,000 or 11,000 customers, adding my existing customer base. I'm about 20,000. So each year, I gain year one, 2,400, year two, 7,000, year three, 11,000. Why is that increasing? That's increasing because my awareness is going up and the amount of stores I'm in is going up. So um, I'm getting more customers, first-time customers, who are deciding to become repeat customers, and my customer base is building. Okay, fantastic. I know how many customers I'm likely to have. How much are they likely to buy? Okay, this is how many units or products they buy each year. So I'm just going to use 20. Okay, and I just, just drag that across, 20 a year. And let's say we uh, sell it for $5. It costs us, say, $3 to, uh, to manufacture or make the product or buy the product. So therefore, we can work out our margin. So it's just price minus the cost. So we're making $2 each. Okay. And I simply just drag that information across per year. Okay, that hasn't changed. But if you wanted to discount in the first year, you could say, okay, we're going to start at $4 to get more first-time customers, and then we'll increase it over time. So by, of course, you're structuring this over a three-year period, you got that flexibility to, to change. As I've changed these numbers up here, these volume and dollar changes may may change over time. So, but for the example, I'll just leave it as is. Now I can work out sales volume, number of units, 
and likely revenue okay of my assumptions so our volume is simply the number of products bought per customer multiplied by the number of customers we have so in the first year we're going to sell 48,000 units I drag that across and you can see it's almost 10 times after three years the reason is I've gone from sorry I've gone from two and a half thousand customers to 20,000 customers so my customer base has gone up almost 20 times if I had some sort of loyalty program in place and some sort of direct marketing program I could argue that I could increase their average purchase quantity per customer and even get our sales up even more but I'll just bring that back to 20 okay so I could could have that in place okay so what's our our revenue our revenue is the number of units we sell multiplied by the price okay so that's our dollars coming in this doesn't include any costs but that's how dollar sales are revenue and then finally what do we have our gross margin what's our profit so that's the same calculation it's the same units 48,000 units sold but instead of using price I'm actually using our profit margin so that's the amount of money left over after we pay the cost for the products so we get basically a hundred thousand profit contribution etc up to eight hundred thousand now we have not taken into account what it costs us up front and how much we're going to spend uh, in promotion so we need to build that in let's say again you need some sort of example for this or justification one and a half million dollars this is the first number I've put in year zero this is our our expenditure prior to going to market when we go to market we're in year one before that it hasn't started it's all considered to be year zero so the development of the cost of the product setup of the manufacturing any market research any uh, initial uh, promotional spend etc okay and then what are we going to spend on promotion each year okay let's say we we we, we start with very a reasonable launch and then um, second year we're a bit quieter and then third year we've got some more money coming in so we can increase it so that might be a pattern okay and then we go through and says okay what is the net result each year so we go okay um, first year what's our there's nothing there there's no income but we take off any hink that comes out so I'm taking you see the formula there I'm picking up profit okay that's units times profit margin less any investment up front less any promotional spent okay and obviously in the first year the only in year zero the only thing we've got happening is uh, the investment cost so if I drag that across again and in the second year what is happening okay we have ninety six thousand dollars worth of profit contribution I've spent hundred thousand on promotion um, I've lost a little bit of money pretty pretty close to break even but by year three I'm getting eight hundred thousand profit contribution and six hundred and sixty six is money left over okay down the bottom what I can do is a running total so in the first year I've spent uh, invested that much of the, the company's money in the second year I've even lost a bit of money so I'm going to add that to that so that's if I had a, a fund or a budget for this new product I'd be that much behind etc and I just copy that across so that number there is what I've lost invested to this stage and that's my return and so forth and obviously uh, I haven't recovered the money by year three so I would need to look at my assumptions and like I said maybe I could have some sort of program in place to try and um, 
increased quantities per, per customer. Okay, and you can see by doing that by year three, I'm actually um, at break even uh, yeah, magically. And perhaps I could start edging up the price as well. Okay, so I've made that um, six. So by that year, I'm making a lot of money. I'm making $1.8 million um, because I'm manipulating the numbers. I need to make sure that the marketing area can still deliver. But this gives me a payback by, by year two. Uh, I've recovered that money and I've got it all back. Um, on an annual basis, it's very profitable. It's making close to $2 million, et cetera. So that's how you would you construct this. But like I said, this is already set up for you with some extra information, uh, a little bit more uh, complex. But the site also has a lot of relevant information about ATAR for uh, new product forecasting. So good luck.